Get your club underneath it, but you don't want to shoot the ball. Either way, like that is a shot, but you don't, you don't want to pinch the ball. You don't need your ball to fall apart. That's the point of soft here. See the difference in the speed of that ball? There's three things that you, ought, you gotta do here. You gotta, you gotta control the speed, number one, of the ball. So the ball goes the same speed on. Never mind. One of the reasons that you have a lot of power in your golf swing is because you have a lot of like that. So I want you to I want you to eliminate the leg, swing up to the top, and back down to the bottom. Go ahead and put the shaft first on the on my leg top. Not just down, but down, down, but through on my leg. Release it again. Start it over, swing back, release it. Don't pull it. See, that's hit me first. I want I want this end to get to the ball at the same time. That's better. That's a little bit too big a swing, but that's the right idea. Weights on the right foot here. Weight, weights evenly distributed. You don't have a lot of weight strips here. Yeah. I mean, you have that. three basic positions that you start out with. Neutral, right leg, left leg. And when you're on the right leg or the left leg, you want to stay there. You don't want to change it. Left leg be for? If I want, if low, I, if low I want the club to have a little more up and down, then I'm going to be on my left leg. If I want it to be Low high. up higher, then it's going to go lower and go higher here. That'd be your right leg pivot. Yes, right leg pivot. Mm -hmm. You need to go on the body probably about three inches, four inches forward. Don't let me push on your leg. Just move your leg to the right. Move it to the right a little bit. Oh, okay, but go, okay, but go ahead. Don't push on my shaft. These are my legs. Oh, it's a lot better when it's off. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. No. Straight up and down. Straight up and down. Right, right leg straight up and down. No. Just. This, this way, straight up and down this way. This is not leaning forward. 
not leaning this way, just straight up and down. I don't down. want it to lean forward like this. I want oh, yeah, it to be yeah. straight up and down. That's better. Put your weight on this. Put your weight on the foot right there. That's better. That's much longer. I'm trying not to lag it this time. So your wrist a little bit more on the back swing and don't, and don't lag it so much. That's better, much better. See, what you do is you go nothing, everything. I want you to go here, release it. So you throw it all. Throw it all. Let the shaft, let the shaft return back to the wall. Yes. Don't push your hands so far. Oh. Yeah. Take your hands up. Take your hands up, sir. Hold on to the inside of your left leg. Not, not in front of it. Right here? Yes. Turn the face to the right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. See, that's, all you did there is you didn't rotate. That's why you hit it back. That's yeah. what we were talking about over there. Yeah, yeah. Move forward on it. No, don't move forward. I want you to turn. Turn. Yes. Back your hands up so your hands are just to the left of the squat. Right there. Too much speed? Yeah, too much lag. Too much lag? Watching you on the internet with these shots. That's Del Monte. Too much right knee. No. Too much right knee? Yeah. Yeah, you got a lot of right knee. Yeah. <laughs> you want no right knee? No, I don't want any right knee. Okay. No, no right Creates knee. lag when you fire you don't the knee. Want your right leg. No right knee there? That was better. Okay. Just wait a little bit more on the right side to start with. Now you have to see your right leg a little straight. The left leg's almost going backwards, like that. There you go. Okay. So it's just basically a sort of a dead-legged action once, well, you've got it, once you've got it all it's set up? This rotation right here. Yeah. It's not, it's not back and forth like this. <laughs> yeah. That's good. See, see, if I was, if I was hitting these... And see my, my neutral position shot would be like 50-50. The ball's right here. Shaft straight up and down and my fly's behind the ball. I'm standing on my both legs like this. And I stay on both, both legs like that. Do that again? I don't want to watch that. Like that. <laughs> Where did you say the setup was again? At the front there? On your fly? Well, yeah, it's right no, here. No, I mean, on your fly. And my, 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 my fly is behind the ball. Okay, behind the ball. It's not, a, it's not okay. in front of Got the ball it. like that. It's in front of the ball, and then I just keep it, keep it off oh, that circle. Keep it behind? Yeah, I, I keep it behind and just rotate. That's good right there. And then, if I want to hit it higher, and I open up, back this up, up more, so it's like three inches behind it. Get the your, shaft there. You fly it. Yes, yep. and the shaft still pointed there. I can't play this heavy club anymore, Nogs. This thing is so heavy. Soft, huh? Yeah. Real soft. Like and, but you see, I'm staying on my 
here on my back side, so my left side is actually coming back to my right. And then if I wanted to, you know, if I wanted to hit it to this pin here, then I might I'll push my fly a little bit more and rotate it to the left. So a little bit more there. Cock the club up in the air and just release it so it's going straight. So I stay. Now I use my left leg as a, as a, as a rotation point, but the ball never changes position. It's just a matter of of it, it always follows this. The face always stays at, at the flag or slightly to the right, 12 or 12.30. Because I always want to hit the ball where the toe is lifting up. So when I'm hitting this shot, you know, see how fast my toe lifted up to elevate the ball. I don't twist it over like that. I lift the shaft up. Just like what we did over there, right? Yes, same, same. Right. I got my I got my fly here, so you'd open up your fly up here, right? Yes, that's good. I'll leave back your hands up there. That's it. And just don't let them go past there to hit the ball. That's good. I mean, the head don't move this any forward. Just leave no, it. No, just just let it rotate. And then here you'd be the same. Here, but you'd move this forward a little bit. Yes. And then, just then you pick this up. And that goes a little bit lower. Pick this up. Yeah, you're always picking the toe up. Always, on any of all these. Yes. Put your weight 50-50 now. So that you fly a little bit behind the ball, a couple inches behind. Don't let your hands get in front of it. Yeah. That's better. Try to get the you speed. want that shaft, you want that shaft to return to your address position at impact every time. Boom, right there. That's gorgeous right there. That's gorgeous. That's soft. The swing is always going straight back and straight through to the target. Never going inside or any place like that. It's always going straight back and straight through. That's better. You see that's low but it's not fast. Right. That's what you that's what you don't want to have is the fast. You don't want ever want that ball to go fast. Good. When that ball just makes a little tiny bounce like that, then you get that shot right. If it skips, okay. Keep it back there. Yes. That's a little bit of down cut. Was it? Yes. Once you got all this position, you just real rhythm, isn't it? Yes. Real rhythmical. I mean, the, 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 the thing that you're trying to do, you know, Sam, is, it, is that, all right, if I go to here, horizontal with the shaft, I want to go to horizontal or just a little bit farther. If I want to go a little bit farther, then it goes a little bit farther. It goes to vertical, then it goes to vertical. So it's equal no matter what. And, well, it's just a little bit more than equal on, on, on the forward side because you're starting from zero. And you're, you're continuing, you've got continuing motion. But, and basically, what you're trying to do is just control whether the club's coming in level or flat or more, more of a descent. That's, that's all you're trying to do. So, here, you, you're waiting on your right foot there, See probably, it, and it stays there. Hit it with your hips, huh? Not your arms. Yeah, that's, that's true. You want to keep your arm on your side. Yeah. How was that? See, that's, that's okay. Yeah. That, that's better. Take your setup. No. <coughs> you don't have that much okay. rotation. You don't need to, you don't want to lift the handle, you want to lift the Club shaft. head, lift the shaft. Lift the shaft. Yeah. Yeah. It could be a little bit, take a hold of it there. It could be a little bit. <coughs> 
Yes. Got it. Too far. Actually, want to feel like put, put your set up there. So just swing forward. Up a little. So it's, it's, it's looking your hip right directly up. Yeah. Okay. I like that. So it doesn't go forward. So just drop it back. There you go. So you're still hitting a little bit behind it because you're not quite getting your chest any far enough to the front of it. That's perfect! You have a go. And you see, you hit the ground right underneath the ball. Right on the ball. You, you got a little one. better aim at the ball. Yeah. That's that's the whole... This this deal helps. Yes. It bottomed me out. It bottomed me out instead of sure. slide it down lower, you know? We just parked the American cars there, so don't worry. That's the Ford shit. <laughs> yeah. That's an Italian over there, huh? No. No German or Italian cars over there. So you want the pace, you want to be able to have a nice smile on that pace right there. That's gorgeous! That a boy! That's as good as anybody can do right there. That's it. That's it. Slightly more wrist on the back and a little bit more wrist on the front. Don't want to keep your hands too far forward to address it. Don't slide forward. That's still better. Yeah. The only reason you miss the bottom of that swing is because you have to You want to be able to control the bottom of that swing. Hold on to it with your little finger there. Hold on to it with your little finger. That's it. That's the way. Well, I'm, I'm playing a lower shot here. Huh? I mean, if I was going high, yes. I'd go here from now. Yeah? If I was going high. Can't do any better than that right there. Yeah. That's good. You, know, you might want to. You might want to uh, make sure your back swing is a little bit more on the outside. What you feel like is outside. No, look, don't drag. Oh yeah, you can play it up on the top. Use the toe.
good, Sam. If you know that you can't go past your, you got your hand on your hips here. This is good enough. Play the flute right here, like. He's right there. I mean, that's a good. Keep that handle loose. If you want it to go lower, Sam, you just keep the shaft a little bit lower here, but keep your hands down. Your hands don't ever raise up. Okay. That's good. That's the way. Good. Get your weight a little bit more evenly distributed, not so much on the left. Right, that's too much slide. Was it? That's much better. See the difference in the speed of that ball? Yeah. That's good. Right there. That's good. Back it up. But you got it. You got. You got. You know the thing is you have to practice is where you hit the spot. You get the ball. Where you hit the spot. Where you hit the ball. You don't want to hit the ground behind the ball. You don't want to hit it in front of the ball. You want to hit it right underneath. Too much slide, that's all, Sam. Yeah. Now, see, that ball's to the left because you had your face closed. Just too, too much uh, close there. Oh, you said always a little open, huh? It's just a little square to open it all the time. That was nice. Uh, I hope so. And if you, so you've only got this position, center. Well, back that, that's, all, that's, that's, all you, that's all you need to have. I mean, that's the three positions, right? Yeah. That's beautiful. That's right underneath the ball. That's really good control. All right. Thank you. When you get, when you See, get how, I learned to, how I learned to do this shot was I learned to do it on a board. No, I had a board. board. I can get this here, maybe. No, it won't work. Maybe the edge. That might. The edge may work. But if you put a ball on it, you feel the thing slide across there like that. You know what? on the flat. Stay it on the flat. Yeah. Stay it on the flat. Right here. It'll come out of that hole flat. Right on you just the feel it just slides right through it. So you're always trying to hit this. Why do you do this grind like this, famous grind? Why would you do that? Well, because this is, first of all, this locks the club in the impact. If you do it, if you do a board test or a lie test or you do a, a tape test, like I, I paint the board, you know, if the paint comes off there right on an angle and the face is not square. And if you get this sort of this square, that ball will go dead straight every time. It works just the same, exactly the same premise as the back one. Exactly. So that's why you cut that piece out? Yeah, because this, this is flat. That's absolutely flat with the ground. I see. And, and this has less bounce, because I, you know, I can lay it, I can lay it like that and it sits right there. 
So I need to lay it right there and have that count. So, so you can kind of control the height of the leading edge. That's, you, you can stand it, stand it up any 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 amount. Yes, yes. Too many people take the heel off of okay, off of these. And you need you, doing? you want you know like I stand there on this and I see I put that I put that heel right in the glass. See that's all just pop right straight up. If I did that with a club with no heel on it, it ball would still be there. Mm -hmm. I can beat on the ground as hard as I want. There that ball as long as I hit underneath it, that ball will come right up. Coming up. No, I take it out of it. You know, you get it, you get talking about tight lies. <coughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a tight lie right there, and I just put that put that heel right there. What was the what was the shot that you showed Nicholas? He, he just wanted one shot, right? No, I showed him all, all of them. But didn't he just? Didn't he just no, no, he went with a bunch of them. The, the one thing that he said, I called him up after after he after he won the open at Boulder call, and I said, you know, well, obviously you're doing pretty good because he played a couple of shots that Bob Ross said he totally hate <laughs> and. Uh, I said, I said, well, well, how's it going? He says, oh man, when I get in trouble over here, I get this shot. I see this shot, I can make this shot. He says, I'm having a terrible time when I have just the most mundane shot. Because he's, you know, he, you know I, too many things are going through my life. But, but you know, he, I, I showed him all those things. Huh? It's the same thing we're talking about here. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He still plays that shot. Oh yeah. He doesn't play it quite as much as he does. So you play like a and you can also use the toe. Also, on. yes. It's, it's, it's the thing that you look for when you when you put the toe in the ground, the shaft will always move. It'll always keep moving. Yeah, because move. it won't it'll it'll keep going, won't yes, it? It'll keep like opening. That. Yes, that's it, here, it it'll, won't it'll, shut it'll down. Like that. You know how many times have you hit out of the rough when it's yeah, and if the you grass get, grab the hobble, you hit that, it's going to keep going open. That's right. Yeah. That's right. But you don't tell everybody that, so. See, that'll, that'll, you, you felt the club almost going to yeah. turn that way. It goes that way. Yeah. You see why he built those clubs that way, though? So that when that's, he, if that's, he wants to get down here that like that, the, he can still get under it with that, that piece there. Yeah. You can get under it with off the toe, too. Get the same thing off the toe. You get kind of higher off the toe. And then the other, the other thing, we just two minutes on was when Runyon taught you the, the the subject of twelve, right? I wanted Sam to know that everything adds up to twelve, right? Uh, yeah. Like if you're hitting a wedge, you land halfway. If you're hitting a nine, you land. Yeah, it's one. one well, I'll it's, show you it's, that. it's not. It's actually. It works out that it works out to to. Uh, Pretty much 12. 12. But it, but it, but you carry the ball the same distance all the time. It's just a matter of how much roll you want. But don't drag it. Yeah. Put put the put the toe in the put the back of the toe in the grass. Let's see, that's too square. You got to set it a little open. It's always going to be 12:30, right? Well, it should be 12:30. That way you got plenty to close with, right? Yeah. That's better. You wouldn't have done that. You know it? See, you, see, see you, hit the you, go, you hit the grass there, and all you did was fluff up the yeah. dead grass. You didn't. Always you, got it, you always got it here, right? But you hit the ball a little bit. That's beautiful. It's always working that way. Yeah? See, so if you want to hit a little shot where you want to just hold it and cut it, you use the toe. And if you want to make the hook, then you use the heel. We did pretty good today. What do you think? So you can, you can, you can take a, you know, you can control the ball. Yeah, I can hit it. I can hit a hook over here. That's all got hooks in. Yeah, that's 
all spinning sideways. That's just lifting the shaft right up. Yeah. And uh, or I can take it and put it up here like this. Go the other way. See that ball had all Life that spin. spin on it. You don't cut it by putting it down here. There's no way. You can't do it. It's almost impossible. So you get it up here. You get it up here like this, and you, you set it there like this, and you. <laughs> you sliced it. <laughs> What'd you do? Drop? You, you, you well, I just hit the toe in the ground. Oh, okay. Oh, so it kept kept but doing I, that. I, you know, I cut across it, but I hit the toe in the ground. And that yeah. kept uh, opening it. Yeah. <laughs> nothing, there's nothing revolutionary about it. It's not magic. <laughs> it's not magic. It's just how you use your club. So. It was a good day. Thank you. You, that's, that's what I want to show, Benji, that's what I want to show Ricky, some of that stuff. I don't know if he'd ever do it or not. Try it.